Okay, so you might be wondering, where did those formulas come from? The ones about the geometric mean and like how does geometric mean come into play um, with these situations? So what we can do is we can use what we know about similar triangles to help us derive the formulas. So I have this big right triangle, triangle A, C, B, and I'm cutting it into two other right triangles that are similar to it. So this is also a right angle. So if this is my blue angle, that would mean that up here, this would have to be my orange angle. This would also need to be a blue angle, and this would be an orange angle. Okay, so if I was gonna go redraw those three triangles separately, and make sure that I'm orienting them all in the same way. Um, if I started with my big triangle, uh, the side across from the orange angle is leg one, so this would be leg one. The side across from the blue angle is leg two, and then that hypotenuse of the big triangle is the whole. Okay, then I would start, then I would do my triangle on the left, the side across from the blue angle is the altitude. The side across from the orange angle is part one. And then the hypotenuse is leg one. And then finally, I would do this triangle over here on the right. The side across from the blue angle is part two. The side across from the orange angle is the altitude. And then the hypotenuse is leg two. All right, so I have these three similar triangles. They're similar by angle angle, so now I can set up my proportions based off which sides correspond. So I'm gonna start with my altitude. So I'm gonna match up my altitudes. So I have this altitude here and this altitude here. So the altitude in this triangle corresponds with part two in that triangle, and the altitude in this triangle corresponds with part one in that triangle. So when I go set up my Proportion, I'm going to do altitude over part two equals part one over the altitude. So I did left over right equals left over right. So now if I was going to go cross multiply, because this is a proportion, I can go cross multiply. I'd have altitude times altitude, which is altitude squared and that would be equal to part one times part two. I'm just gonna abbreviate P1, P2. So I'm just multiplying part one and part two. So if I wanted to get the altitude all by itself, right now it's altitude squared. If I just wanted to go to just altitude, I would need to take the square root. So I would take the square root of part one times part two. So, that's our formula that we know. If we're trying to find the length of the altitude, we are going to find the geometric mean of the two parts. We would multiply part one and part two and then take the square root of it. So that formula didn't just come from anywhere. It came from the fact that these three triangles were all similar. So when you set up the proportions, you end up that the altitude is the geometric mean of the two parts. All right, the second thing we can do is we can match up leg one. So I have leg one in this triangle and leg one here. Leg one matches up with part one, and then the whole matches up with leg one. So if I go set up my proportions, I will have leg one over part one is equal to the whole over leg one. So if you cross multiply, you will get leg one squared equals part one times the whole. Same thing, to go from leg one squared to just leg one, I'm going to have to take the square root. So I'm taking the square root of part one times the whole. That's my formula that, I, that we came up with. The length of leg one of this triangle is found by finding the geometric mean of part one and that whole hypotenuse. So leg one is found by multiplying part one and the whole and then taking the square root, which is the formula that we came up with earlier. Okay, and then finally we can find proportions for leg two. So leg two, leg two corresponds with part two 
and then leg two corresponds with, with the hole. So I can set up the proportion. Leg two over part two equals the hole over leg two. So when I cross multiply, I'm gonna get leg two squared equals part two times the whole. Same thing, I have to take the square root in order to get leg two by itself. And so the length of leg two ends up being the geometric mean of part two and the whole thing. To find the length of leg two, you multiply part two with the whole thing and then take the square root. That's the formula we learned earlier and it came from the proportion that we were able to set up because we had those three similar triangles. So we're just proving to you that these formulas didn't just come from nowhere. The, um, you can derive them from these similar triangles, these similar right triangles. Pretty cool.